to my channel Les Gourmets de Blanche. My name is Blanche. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to make a quick, easy and delicious mini gourmet seafood extravaganza. My seafood steamed in beer and aromatics is a very easy recipe and it literally will take you less than 30 minutes to have dinner on the table. For the side dish, we'll have a decadent white flesh sweet potatoes mixed with veggies and cook a l'étouffé. I have a video for that, so go watch the video and uh, you'll understand. I'll explain what étouffé cooking technique is. So uh, without any further delay, let's start cooking. Here is an overview of all the ingredients we are going to use in our recipes today. The ingredient list and the recipes are in the description box for you. For the seafood, we have lobster tails, shrimps, scallops, crab, and mussels. For the aromatics, we have onion, leek, garlic, celery stacks with leaves, some parsley, grated ginger, and of course beer that we are going to use as the liquid. And here are the spices. I have salt, black pepper, garlic salt, Cajun seasoning, and of course uh, my green seasoning. The base of my dipping sauce will be uh, the cooking juice of the seafood, then I'll add butter, lemon zest, and a good squeeze of half lemon. To garnish our plate, we are going to use lemon and parsley. Okay, now let's start cooking. Uh, here I have all my seafood already clean, washed uh, in lemon water and dry with a paper towel. So uh, starting with a large saute pan, I'm going to arrange my aromatics in the bottom of the pan and then I'll start layering my seafood. So I'm starting with my raw seafood first, starting with the lobster, then I'll follow with the shrimp, scallop, and then the mussels. Then uh, I will not add my crab right away because the crab is already cooked. Just make sure to put your crab in the fridge until it's time to add it to the pot. And all I'm doing right now is just finishing up laying my raw seafood. And once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna move to the next step. Note that seafood is already salty, so go easy with your seasoning. So I'm starting with my garlic salt, then I'll follow with regular salt, then black pepper. I'm putting a little bit more because I like to taste black pepper in my seafood. Then I'll follow with the Cajun um, seasoning and my green seasoning. Then uh, I'll take the garlic cloves and just smash it with a um, kitchen hammer and throw it in there. Then after that, I will follow with my grated ginger and finish up with uh, some parsley leaves. You don't have to follow the sequence that I have in the video. Uh, you can do your own sequence. Then uh, the magic ingredient, which is the beer. I'm not gonna use the entire bottle but make sure you have enough liquid to cook the aroma, aromatics, so you can get the aroma in the seafood. So anyway, now I'm just gonna cover the lid and cook it on the stove over medium heat for about eight minutes. And then I'll check on it. So it's been about eight minutes and um, my seafood is exactly where I want it to be. So now I am going to add my crab and then about one teaspoon of butter. 
uh, just make sure that you mix a little bit before adding your crab and then uh, pour some of the liquid over your crab because you want the crab to get the aroma and then um, just cover it and let it cook for another um, eight minutes six eight minutes and after that this should be done okay let's uh, check on our seafood it is ready I am going to transfer my seafood in a dish with a lid cover I don't want to leave uh, the seafood in the pan as it will continue cooking so after that I'll move to the next step we are almost done my friends I'm also going to remove the vegetables and reserve then um, move on to my dipping sauce first I'm going to pour my cooking juice uh, in a saucepan through a strainer and then let it reduce for three to five minutes and then start building my uh, dipping sauce. Our sauce is reducing very well. What I'm going to do is add a mixture of water and flour to thicken my sauce a little bit and then uh, whisk well then let it cook for about one to two minutes. And at this point, I will follow with my butter, the lemon zest, and one good squeeze out of my half lemon. So after that, let it reduce. Make sure you mix well with the manual whisk. And that's it, your sauce should be done. Just note that this sauce is very light, buttery, lemony it shouldn't be a heavy sauce and very pleasant to the palate so just make sure you reach the consistency on the screen that's it friends we are done and here comes everything we cook today our mini gourmet seafood extravaganza like i said at the beginning of this video the sweet potatoes à l'étouffée recipe is on my channel. The link to the video is in the description box below. So we cook gourmet food. Let's make our gourmet plates. I have one plate today. Hey, if you are trying these recipes or doing your own thing and coming up with a gourmet plate, Please send me pictures, I want to see. So here is our gourmet plate. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and set up the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. Until then, stay safe. Eh bien les amis, si vous avez aimé cette vidéo, likez, laissez-moi un commentaire, abonnez-vous et activez la cloche de notification pour ne pas rater mes prochaines vidéos. Euh, merci et à la semaine prochaine. Au revoir.